I'll, right now I'll boot this thing up and I'll show you exactly what I ran into except I just didn't know what to do so um, obviously my first computer wasn't HP but it was, it, I guess you can call it HP because it was compact at the time but this is what I ran into as a kid I set up I turned I, I, um, I turned on this feature the power on password and I typed something in on the keyboard I think it was like zero 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 zero, or 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 maybe it was space 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 space, and the computer I guess had a problem with spaces or something. Um, so it didn't know, you know, what I had. So basically, when I was a kid, like I typed something in, you know, it'd be wrong, 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 and then I'd get to you know the third try, and then that was it. And then the only thing you could have done at that point is to turn it off, um, and turn it back on. And so basically that. After having the computer for like a month or two, that's what I ran into because I didn't know what I was doing. I was experimenting at the time, and I locked myself out of the computer. Now, the um, the only other way to get past this is if you clear the CMOS. Um, and then, um, you know, back then I didn't know what that was. I was in second grade. So, I basically, I saw, you know, we, we had this person on our street that fixes computers. I basically saw him. He took out what looked like a battery to me, and now that, I, now that I'm older, I know it, it, it was a battery. But he popped it out, and then I saw him turn it over or something, and he put it back in, and then the computer worked. So now, now the CMOS on this on the laptop is it's deep inside. So in, to, to take it out, I would have to go into the laptop and you know take it out. But um, the good thing is, I know the password. So this, I mean, yeah. So I should be able to go back into Windows. So I'm good. But yeah, so basically that was um, one of my first problems I've ever had with the computer. After that, um, I, you know, I, I, I experimented even more and I basically started holding on the power button and see what would happen if it was booting up. Um, eventually what happened was it gave me a blue screen of death. Um, and I guess it corrupted the hard drive a little bit or, or the Windows files and then basically I had to go get it repaired because I was experimenting with the power button. Um, so, yeah, that's it.